So he actually holds a little disc and I think you've got to flick him. Yeah, <laughs> just flicks the disc. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'd know that I always make lists. So for example, for this video, I actually made a whole list of things to do. And I was actually running around the house trying to pick as many different items as I could. To be honest, I've got so much here that I think I'd probably do like another two or three videos out of this. Hello everyone and welcome to Kimmy Shrines. If you're new here, then twice a week I do videos. So the last one I did was part two of my pins and my badges. So if you've not seen that, then please go check that out. And today, in honor of my stepdad's birthday, I thought I would actually pick presents for the men in your life. So I just thought it'd be a fun video to do. So just in case you have like a boyfriend, a dad, a husband, a best friend, an uncle, a brother. I just thought, just in case you're struggling for ideas for like presents, either like birthday presents, anniversary presents, or like Christmas presents, presents that kind of thing I just thought I would show you kind of things that I've got either my husband because my husband's into Disney as well or just things I had around the house that's kind of like more like male oriented obviously anyone can buy this stuff I'm obviously female I've got a lot of this stuff myself so it doesn't have to be for the men in your life but I just thought they're more geared to like the male side of it so just in case you know someone who's like into Disney but not like full-on into Disney I thought I've got some stuff that's actually birthday related some practical stuff some like like toys and and things like that and then some collectibles so then I thought no matter what age you're looking for I just thought there might be something in here for you but yeah like I said I've got so much to get through so yeah let's just get into this so like I said the reason why I'm doing this one is it's because it's my stepdad's birthday so I actually had some stuff that was kind of birthday related now the first one I actually bought for myself just because it's got Simba on it so it's actually a birthday card and it just says it's your birthday the main event and then inside it just says have a awesome birthday now I actually got this from as it was originally £1.50 or three for £3. I just happened to be that. I think I was looking for like another birthday card or maybe like an anniversary card or something. I, I know I was looking for something else. And then I saw this and I was like, I, I, I kind of have to get it. Like, I don't have a lot of adult Simba things. And so when I saw this, I was like, okay, I really, really want this. So I actually just bought this for myself. But I just thought, yeah, again, just in case you know someone who, you know, it's birthday and they're like Disney, I just thought a birthday card, that's kind of perfect. Now to go with that, it's actually something I actually did for my birthday. So um, it's actually cupcakes. So my mum actually bought me this one. So this one, if you can believe it or not, I've actually used. I do have other ones in the shrine that still got the original packaging in it. So it's still actually got the original food in it. But yeah, so this one I just thought, yet again, if you're gonna make like little cupcakes, or you could make one big cake if you want to. So with the mixture, you can make one big one. But this one actually makes 10. Like There are so many different ones that you can get. I just thought because obviously it had the boys of Lion King on there. So it's got Timon and Pumbaa and Simba on there I just thought yet yeah, again it's kind of more on the boyish side like I said like Lion King is my favorite film so I'm not saying any of these are just for boys I just thought because these kind of things I've kind of bought my husband so I kind of thought it makes sense because it's more on the boy side but like anyone could buy this I'm just saying so the next ones are more on the practical side so one of the ones that I actually got my husband Ruben when we went to Disney in Paris is actually a cereal bowl now you can get stuff like this in anywhere so for example um, I've seen them in Primark I've seen them in Wilkinson's I've seen them in uh, like Asda or um, Tesco <laughs> oh my god I can't really think that <laughs> which I did actually do a high street haul um, a while ago which I Obviously has stuff in like Asda, Tesco's and Wilkinson and things like that. So you don't have to go Disneyland Paris just to get stuff like this. I just thought I'd show that this one I actually got him. So this actually has Stitch on there and I do like the fact that it actually has Disneyland Paris on the bag. But just in case you don't want to get something like that, just in case you want to get something a bit smaller. Now this is actually mine. Now I actually use these as like my normal like lunch and stuff like that. So because I actually prefer like, the plastic ones over say proper plates. <laughs> now I think if I remember right that this did actually come in a set where you got a bowl and you actually got a mug as well the mug I've actually got in the shrine I just saw something like that so like I said it depends on what age you are but like I'm 36 and I use plastic stuff so it doesn't really matter what age you are 
So the next ones which I am a sucker for, like I love collecting mugs. I don't know what it is about mugs, I just absolutely love collecting them. I did actually do a Disney store haul a while ago where I actually got Ruben another mug. So, <laughs> But one of the ones that he likes is this one here which is this Baymax one which I think I've talked about before in previous videos. It might have actually been a mug video that I did like a couple years ago. One thing I love about this one is actually got inside the, the sort of smiley faces. So obviously the more coffee you drink, the happier you get. So I actually got on this one, which actually, I think, I'm trying to think I got it. So I'm not sure if I got it from the Disney store because it just says Disney on the bottom rather than the Disney store. Yeah, because any Disney store stuff would actually say Disney store. So I'm trying to think where I got him this. But another one I got from the Disney store was actually this Moana one. Now I actually love this one on the basis that I actually got Maui's hook on there and it's quite a big mug as well. So Ruben actually uses this one the most. Um, but like I said, it actually does say Disney store on there. So any that say Disney store actually comes from the store. But any say Disney, I'm pretty sure the Baymax one, I could have actually got it from like maybe... I don't know like maybe like Asda or something so I could have got it from there but yeah so like I said mugs I would say you can always get anywhere that does like crockery but like I said I just really like this one just because it had Maui's hook on there so that's one reason I got Ruben that one so another one which Ruben used to use when we went to the gym so it's going back about three years ago <laughs> is actually this one here which is a Gaston one so this we actually got from Primark if I remember rightly I think it was only about like four pounds so like three or four pounds wasn't too expensive now one thing I like about these are actually quite big and the fact is you've actually got to lift this up to drink out of it so just in case it's in your bag and it falls over as long as that fits down it won't obviously leak and it's also good as well it's got a handle now Primark do a lot of things like this like I like I said we actually got this probably about three years ago they've always got stuff like this in stock I've not actually bought any recently because the one that I actually got I actually got from Smiggles which is a frozen one so it's actually an, um, an Elsa one and I've just been obsessed with using it one so I just use that one <laughs> but it does come in handy having something like this just on the basis that it is quite a big bottle so another thing which so another thing I actually got from Disneyland Paris for Ruben so again I think it was the first time we we always try to get something from the park so either we can try and actually use back here or say something for the shrine but I actually got him pumper slippers now one thing he loves about these is the fact that not only does his mouth actually open but it's actually a little bug in there so you've got a ladybird in that one, then you've got like a little worm type caterpillar thing in there. I'm pretty sure Ruben talked about these because he does actually do a Disney for Dudes playlist. He's only done two videos. It was supposed to be more like quarterly he was supposed to do them, but it's now turned into annually. <laughs> so I think the next one he might do would be around about September time, which is his birthday. But I do remember him talking about these in one of those videos. But yeah, like Pumper Slippers, I have seen similar ones. Um, you can get them like online, so maybe check like eBay and stuff like that, maybe like Amazon. I don't know if Primark do sort of slippers stuff like this. I have seen almost slipper socks but I don't know if they do slippers like this but speaking of Primark the last time I actually went to Primark I actually got Reuben this so it's actually a Monsters University throw now this was only six pounds and I just love the quality of this because it's so soft now when I got it I didn't actually realize it was Monsters University I just thought it was Monsters Inc because they had a lot of other Monsters Inc stuff out so for example I've got like some other cushions and stuff like that with um, Sully on it but it wasn't until I did the video and I opened it and I was like oh my god it's actually Monsters University so yeah so I actually got him this because if you didn't know downstairs um, in our front room he's got a bean bag so when he's playing his game he sits on a big bean bag and originally it had Mulan on there and I was like well it's not really boyish is it so I was really wanting to get him a boy's throw to go on his bean bag so when I saw this I thought oh that's perfect but like I said I recently got this um, in Primark so it should still be available in Primark at the moment but just in case you don't want to get to a Primark store I have always linked in my videos um, the Primark Facebook group so just in case you want to look at that I would suggest go there but talking about Moses University I have a Moses University hat like I'm so happy like I do actually have a varsity jacket as well which I think I wore in a couple of other videos and I did actually do a video on it but yeah my dad actually wears hats so I was tempted to get him this one so but um, at the moment 
I can't remember what he's got on his head at the moment. It's something funny, but I can't remember what it was. He got it on holiday, and I can't remember what it was. But, yeah, so something like this, I think I actually got for about, I think it was only about £4 on eBay, so it wasn't too expensive. But, yeah, when I saw this, I just thought this is so cool. So this one's actually an adult one. It is adjustable, which is really good as well. I don't know if they do children's ones, so it might be occasion you might have to actually look on eBay for a children's size one, or, say, like, young adult, that kind of thing, because this one actually was an adult one. It's like a unisex one. But, yeah. Yeah, when I saw this and I was like, okay, I have to get this. I've not actually worn it yet, but I do actually wear my varsity jacket to work and I've had so many people compliment on it. But yeah, I just thought this was so cool to include. Like I said, my dad actually wears hats, so I might be tempted to buy him one as well. But yeah, it was just one of the things I saw it and I'm thinking, right, I need it to go with my varsity jacket. So another thing um, which are Rubens, another one is this Mighty Ducks, I think it's like a pyjama top. Um, we do actually have one each, so I can't actually remember <laughs> whose this one is, because they only did it in men's, which is a medium. So I don't actually know if this is mine or Rubens, but it was just hanging on the washing line. I was thinking, right, right, grab that one, don't care who, who it is. But yeah, so this is another one which is a Mighty Ducks one, so I've actually got this for Ruben. Um, that actually came from Primark, and another one that came from Primark was actually this one here, which is a piece the planet one so Rubens actually worn this a couple of times when we've gone to Disney because obviously we don't know um, they actually have a Toy Story section in the Paris bit so he's actually worn this a couple of times it's not glow in the dark but it is quite fluorescent so it does actually shine up quite quite bright so that is actually on the front and then that's what's on the back so just in case he's wearing a jacket or anything it's not too in your face Disney now this one I actually bought for myself so I actually bought this when we actually went to Disneyland Florida for our honeymoon I actually wore this to go to Animal Kingdom which I didn't actually end up wearing because I had so many other animal things to wear like Lion King ones, I had like Marie ones and Stitch ones, I didn't actually end up wearing this one but now Ruben's kind of stolen it and it's actually this one here which is Cusco and it just says on there no touchy. Now I think I actually got this from eBay um, I think it's one of those things I was just looking for like animal t-shirts, I think that's what I typed in like Disney animal t-shirts and this one came up. If I remember rightly this is actually technically a men's t-shirt anyway so um, I think I got it in a medium like I said because me and Ruben wore it as a, we just share tops obviously um, the only downside is it's quite faded so it actually came faded so I, I would have liked it to have been a bit brighter but Ruben constantly wears this one like he's now when I was actually trying to find this one it was actually in his pile of clothes so another practical thing which I've got Ruben a few of these um, unfortunately our phones don't fit anymore because um, our, we've actually changed phones since but it's actually phone cases now I think I've actually mentioned phone cases before I can't remember when or why but I've actually mentioned phone cases before but he always liked the ones where they kind of like stand up like that he actually likes to watch like you know YouTube or things like that um, on his phone so it just makes it easier when you can kind of prop it up he also likes the fact that they've got the, the ridges in there to put like your card and things like that in there now all the cases I've ever bought are from eBay um, to this day so while I'm filming this my most viewed video is actually an eBay haul on my phone cases that's my most, it's got over like a thousand views, like none of my other videos come close to that. <laughs> Most of my videos get like, I don't know, 30, maybe 40 views, but that one's got over a thousand views and it's just me talking about Disney phone cases. I think I did that video in the first year I was actually doing uh, YouTube, so maybe about two years ago, so it's not like that old, but yeah, and I might have mentioned it then or similar things. But yeah, that's like my most viewed video, like I said, over a thousand views, I'm like, why can't all my videos be like that? Right, so the next ones are more, so those I class are kind of more practical ones, so I'll go into the next ones, which, like, if it's someone's birthday, or it's like your brother's birthday, or, you know, you're trying to introduce them to Disney, I think Brother Bear is probably one of the better ones to kind of introduce them to. I was actually going to include um, Treasure Planet as well, but there is a reason why I talked about Brother Bear, because you've got the DVD, or you've also got books as well. So just in case you know someone a little bit more on the younger audience, or if you're trying to introduce them to Disney only because I just really love the story of these and I love the animation it's such a nice animation it's so good and they're funny as well so these films are quite funny another one I would have suggest is probably like Emperor's New Groove I mean Ruben actually watched that the other day so I would say something like this if you're obviously going to see someone and you obviously want to spend the day with them you obviously got like something like this to watch or if they're a little bit more in the younger audience you've got books like this now this book I did actually do a video on um, as one of my eBay ones so I actually did a video on that and then like I said then you've the DVD which at the moment you can buy DVDs, Blu-rays more or less anywhere. 
So another ones I've got are more around the house toy collectible kind of things. So the first one I'm going to mention is actually this one here which is my Genie Cushion. Now I actually got this from Asda and I think I got it, it was only a couple months ago but Asda is the main place where I shop so that's where I actually do my food shopping so I do sometimes look down the aisle to see and they do actually still have this one in stock. Um, they've actually got the lamps on the back as well so you can kind of reverse it, that's one thing I like about this. Primark also do their own cushions as well. Primark's actually got a similar cushion where it's just Jeannie's head but I thought oh I've mentioned a few Primark stuff so I thought I'd talk about more say high street stuff as well. If not as they do actually have their own website so just in case you can't get to the store maybe have a look on their website. So another thing I got which I got from uh, did I get this from Disney store? It doesn't actually say Disney store on it but it say Disney so I'm trying to think Sometimes I got stuff like this again from my Asda, so it's actually these little emoji um, cushiony toy type things. But the good thing is they're actually double sided. Um, I do actually have quite a few emoji stuff that I am actually due to do a video. <laughs> there was so much I wanted to do this year, but then I did like a Disney store haul, I did a high street haul, I did a Primark haul. I've actually got another one coming up as well. I was supposed to do like an emoji video at some point, but I just never got around to it because obviously other things kept them coming up. But yeah, I just really like these because they are reversible so another thing which I'm pretty sure Ruben yeah I'm pretty sure I actually mentioned this in one of his Disney days once because I think this is actually in the thumbnail of him holding it now Ruben actually technically bought this for himself um I think he was in Sainsbury's one day because I think he just finished work and we need to get some stuff like bread milk that kind of thing he just haven't been Sainsbury's and he saw this and he came home and it was like babe I just bought Rex <laughs> Now, if I remember rightly, he did say this was about £10, which in my mind is a little bit more than I'd spend, but at the same time, it is really cool. Obviously, it's authentic. I would like to say this is more like life size, so this is actually the size I actually imagine Rex to be. But yeah, Rex just lives downstairs, so um, it's kind of just funny just kind of have because it's like little mouth moves and it's little hands moves. So he is what I would class as like a proper toy. And like I said, I kind of feel like this is life size. I'm getting really hungry. I can feel my stomach rumbling. I had breakfast. And I can feel my stomach rumbling. I'm like, can you just like chill for a bit? So in my last video, I did actually talk about pins. So just in case you did actually miss that video, I'll just mention these two again. I do actually have a, a pins playlist. So um, these are actually in my pins part two. But I actually buy Ruben these as like stocking fillers. So that's why I thought I'd quickly include them now just in case you missed that video. But yes, yeah, so I've got a little pumbo there and I've actually got an oogie boogie there. Now stuff like this, because obviously they are technically authentic Disney, um, you can obviously get them from the parks. But I tend to buy mine on eBay just because they're a little bit cheaper. So another thing is mystery minis. I always think these are a fun idea which I've actually done this for my stepdad a couple times with the Rick and Morty ones and um, yeah and obviously I get loads of Disney ones but one of the ones I actually got was a Lion King one and I actually got Timon. Now I tend to mainly get mystery minis from eBay because I find especially the actual mystery minis themselves they can be about five pounds I would say but unless there's loads of characters I want then I don't mind doing the mystery mini because that's how I actually got this one so I think it was it must be like a Lion King one or something but they had quite a few and I was thinking oh I don't mind which one I got and obviously I got this one but most of the time I look at the box I'm like there's only a couple I like so I find it's easier to go on eBay to buy the actual one you want than it is to waste money especially because you might get duplicates as well so speaking of eBay um, this is such a um, a, ch <laughs> a really childish uh, toy. Um, I actually got this from eBay in a bundle I'm pretty sure it was a like a McDonald's uh, I think it was all the same characters, but it's actually Hercules. Oh yeah, it was actually. I'm trying to think because I know I've done bundles where it's like a mix of characters. But yeah, I remember now there's actually a Hercules bundle where I actually opened it on camera because all of them were uh, still sealed. But it's actually a Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> figurine. Now there's so many of these um, on eBay. I sometimes, if I can, try and get mine from charity shops. Obviously it's hit or miss by, you know, both ways. If I remember rightly, I'm going to try. So he actually holds a little disc and I think you've got to flick him. Yeah, <laughs> just flicks the disc. So it's kind of like a fun little game. So just in case, you know, you just want to get some like that. But I would say, like I said, eBay's the best place because that actually came out when the film came out. So eBay might be the only place you can get them from. 
Right, so the last ones are my Funko Pops. So um, just in case you know someone who collects things, so that's why I thought I'd actually include these. Now some of these are mine and some of these are Rubens. So the most recent one I actually got was actually this one here. So I actually got this from my Disney Store haul. Um, it was actually 30% off, but I actually looked this morning and they've actually got 50% off. Now some of the things I actually bought in that haul are still on their website and I'm so annoyed because some of the things are now even cheaper, which I'm not really bugging about, but it's just a, <laughs> it's just annoying when you buy something. Like I actually bought Ruben a Christmas present, so it's obviously in a box and I could have got it cheaper for him because now it's even cheaper, but unfortunately this one wasn't on there, but because it's Funko Pop, you can get these most places. Like I said, like eBay would be one of the better places or you can also get them like HMV or like comic book shops, that kind of thing, so it's not too difficult. But yeah, so that's actually the Quasimodo one there. The one I actually got was the one where he actually holds like a little wooden figure of himself, so that's that one there. Uh, another one I've got for my shrine is actually Cusco, so I've not actually seen him in llama form, so I've only ever seen him, though I do actually have a key ring of Cusco in llama form, but I've only ever seen him as this one. They do actually have other ones on there as well, which I've actually got all the characters. I don't have enough in a video to do an Emperor's New Groove video for you guys, but I do actually have all of those ones as well, which I have mentioned. I think Kronk and Yzma might have been in one of my Halloween ones I did last year. And then the last one, which I actually got Ruben, which is this one here, which is Tamatoa. Now, the fun thing about this one, it actually glows in the dark, because if you know, obviously, the film uh, Moana, Tamatoa is shiny. <laughs> You're welcome. But yeah, so I actually got Ruben this one. The only annoying thing is, Tamatoa, I don't know if he's upside down, because obviously the picture I, of the box is like that, but then Tamatoa is facing that way, so then when you put it that way, so you can actually see him, the words are upside down, so I don't know whether this is upside down or not. Now, I normally get mine, uh, my Funko Pops for about £10, so I have actually said that's kind of the price range I think Funko Pops should be, but it depends on where you get them from and obviously how many you get. So, for example, some places do offer like two for a certain price, that kind of thing. But yeah, like I said, it's not too difficult to get hold of. So yeah, so that was my video. My throat is really going now and I'm also so hungry, so I'm going to end this video here. So, uh, so yes, like I said, these are ideas for like presents for, you know, the men in your life, that kind of thing. I think my next one, a little bit of a sneak peek, might be what's in here. So if you want to see what this box is, then please uh, subscribe and obviously click the bell notification and obviously get notified when all my other videos go up. And yeah, that's it. So I'll see you guys next time. Later days.